Hello everyone, my name is Atta Malik. I'm a partner with PwC's financial services consulting business. Welcome to today's episode of FinTech Insights, where we speak to some of the most innovative FinTechs in the region. What's in the name? For YAP, it's pay spelled backwards. A name that came about as a leading digital banking solution, providing seamless banking experience to an everyday consumer in the Middle East region. They have seen tremendous growth since being launched in 2021. They have more than 150,000 customers already and raising multi-million dollars in capital. I'm delighted to welcome my guest today, Marwan Hashim, who is the group CEO and co-founder of YAP to share some insights on what has been a tremendous year for YAP. Welcome, Marwan. Thank you, Haruata, and thank you for the interview. Well, welcome, uh, Marwan. Look, for, for people to know uh, more about YAP, how would you describe YAP and what's your 60-second pitch to the customers? So, t today the world is uh, in a new era uh, where we're becoming more and more cashless society and fintechs are playing a big role in this uh, to fulfill the needs of people when it was a cashless society. So yeah, we are a digital banking app. Uh, for consumers, it's like you start by, to make it in 60 seconds, you start, we start by creating a bank account in IBAN. We're partnering with, with banks, local banks in every country to create the bank account. And it's a one-stop shop for all your financial needs. So, you know, every user or every customer that we have have different needs. But we start with the IBAN and then you can get your virtual cards. You can have analytics with your spendings. And uh, we have Yap Store where if you have kids, you can create some account to your kids. So we're creating a lot of products in app in a way to cater everybody. The most important is today everybody wants to need a bank account. And I, I believe that in the region here, there's a lot of people non-banked now, underbanked and we can cater all these people. So anyone can create YAP account. Uh, you, don't, you, can, you can have a, a, a low salary, a huge salary, or in the same time, if you are unemployed also, so we can create a YAP account. And then at the same time, you don't have any engagement. This is very important that no minimum requirement, no engagement, and at the same time, you just pay what on usage. Okay. So this is a nutshell about YAP. Uh, very interesting content, Marwan. Can you tell us a little bit about how it came about? What was, how did YAP come about? What and why you created it? And, and really kind of how it's evolved into the FinTech it is today. Yeah, I've been working in the payment industry for more than 20 years uh, and uh, prepaid before and the cashless, like I said, cashless is, is becoming like uh, everywhere now. We see we're reducing the cash, and there is a lot of a lot of need for these uh, digital products. And banks are not able to to create to create to, to, to today or to innovate by having many products in app. So a fintech today, the fintechs are playing this role by creating by by adding products, which is catering all the needs of, of everybody. And I think like I I believe that the next ten years. Will be will reduce the cash massively worldwide, not only not only in UAE, not only in US, practically in all in, in all the regions. And this is why I think this is for the next ten years as a revolution in the payment. And we're here also to to cater everybody. Okay, no, very good. And I mean, how did you bring the technology that's supporting YAP to kind of? make it the fintech it is it's yeah so, so so tech is very very important we're a tech company first of all we're uh, we're uh, we're not stuck by tech legacy you know it's banks today traditional banks are stuck by their tech legacy in a way it's very complicated to add products or to make it more seamless mm -hmm. this is where we play uh, a role where we partner with banks we need them they need us and you know when when we create an iban you know that we are we have traditional banks uh, partner with us, you know, where you're, where you're loading your money and in a way it's secure. And the tech is like now we have big tech team, so uh, it starts with user experience. So you have to have a really a product manager, good user experience team in a way to make it seamless for our users and that you develop the tech. And you keep adding product, you know, it's a roadmap. You start with the with MVP product and then you can add adding product to cater all the needs of the people. Amazing. And as a, as a leadership team, obviously, you have uh, Masood, you have Zaidan. It's a very, I think I would say, flourishing leadership team, an established leadership team. How did you guys come about 
to form this? Was it a coincidence or was this something planned? I wish there were coincidence. no coincidence <laughs> in life. So, uh, you know, the team, uh, any company, whether FinTech or any company, the team is the most important thing. To create values, to create a company, to fulfill the needs of our customers. So you need to have uh, in a, 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 the best team. And Masoud, for example, you mentioned, he's coming from the banking industry, my team is a banking. And as my partner, who practically had a startup before, very successful at UAE. And then we have a f uh, team now, we have, we're a much bigger team today, in a way to be able to reach, uh, to reach uh, the needs of our users, this is the most important, and to make it a seamless experience. And to keep adding products, because there is a, a huge need now for pro products in the market. We all have different needs. You know, the financial, this, when I say fintech today, you have traditional banks where you create account, you have your debit card, but now the product game is very important. Engage with the user, yeah. it's like we have different needs. And this is where we play a big role with our tech uh, and uh, with catering this customer in these products. Yeah, no, so look, growth in the market where especially digital banking is still a new concept. Um, customer acquisition is one of the key um, success factors for a fintech like you. Can you tell us a little bit about how you've gone about acquiring your customers? We were told you had 20,000 interested at launch. We've now heard that it is you have more than 150,000 customers. So how have you gone about acquiring these customers and what's the plan? Yeah, I guess now is customer acquisition is one part of it. Customer engagement is the most important because mm -hmm. you can acquire customers but they need to use the app. And this is where again we, we made our app very user friendly. And in the same time, we are, we are like acting, uh, acting in every market to, 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 to fulfill the needs of our users. And uh, now we are engaging with the user with the product. It's very important, like I saying, in our app tomorrow, like if you want to trade equities, now we're adding where you can trade equities. You have kids, you can create some account to your kids. Uh, if you have people working with you in, in a home where they don't have access to banking, you create the bank account, a sub account for them and they can transfer money home. So it's a whole, uh, it's a whole uh, ecosystem that we are building with all our team. So it's an evolving experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there we have, every day you have challenges and at the same time, you build MVP product, you create success by acquiring users. So we demonstrated that we can acquire users in a very fast way. It's not like traditional banks because we, we, we were serving everybody. Digitally, we're acquiring users. Now it's more about adding products adding products in a way to have really a seamless uh, user experience in app and catering all the needs, all it's a one-stop shop for all the fi your financial needs in one app. And at the same time, having the analytics where we're spending, on what we're spending, where we spent the last month, where we're spending and, and creating, like I said, virtual cards, split the bill, payment gateway. So we're adding all in all these features in our, in, in our app in a way to complement the offering of the bank. You know, we're here, if you're on bank, if you don't have bank account, for that, that you can create, uh, create an account with Yap. Mm -hmm. And if you have a bank account, you can also complement your bank account by having all the features that, that we're adding. Okay. In a way, you load your account in a very seamless way. That's why we're creating IBAN. You can load it with debit card, with credit card, transfer money, or QR code, or Apple Pay. And at the same time, directly you can, you can have access to all the features that we have. And this is why I always say we, we are complementing the, bank, the traditional bank's offers. Okay, no, no, very interesting. I mean, you've talked about the engagement piece and having been on Yap and experiences. I know the onboarding is less than 30 seconds, I would say. Um, and you're focusing a lot on the onboarding and the engagement aspect and the activation aspects of it. Can you tell us a little bit more about, about those and how you're differentiating from maybe what's in there in the traditional banking um, space or, or other digital banks? Yeah, so, so we, did, we did our onboarding very seamless. In a way, you onboard all the customers are onboard the same way, which is you put your phone number, your, your name, your last name, email address, and directly we provide you an IBAN and a virtual MasterCard. But you have to activate the account who follows the regulation, central bank regulation, and our bank partner regulation, which is you have to start your KYC. The KYC differentiates between country and country. So the, this is where the KYC, we, we, we start the KYC process. In UAE, we have still to visit the customer, take his fingerprint. Other markets now in Saudi, where we, we we're launching next year, there is the option number, which is your KYC directly. So this is where we activate your users. And once you're activated, you are in app. This is where you start using, you load the account, 
and you start doing that. So, so, so it's it's a process where you onboard in a very very easy way. KYC, you can work KYC you, and then okay. start to do that. And in in terms of activation, so how do you actually, I would say, users will download the app, they can do the initial onboarding. How do you focus on? really activating those users and making yeah, sure yeah. that they're using that. Yeah, so we have a full team for that. You know, it's like we act really locally. We have a tech scalable tech. We have our product are scalable, but we have a full team uh, working now in UE, in Yap UE. We have a full team, which is managed by Masood that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> so once we activate that, we, you know, it's all it's, it's, it's all the process. You activate the account and after that, you start, uh, you follow all, the, you track your user, how they're using, what are their need, customer service, and we have all the tools of that. We're investing massively in data. You know, data is like, it's like really important. Uh, AI and data. So we have a lot of software that we implemented now. In a way, we, after the next step is like track the behavior of the user, their needs, and same time adding the BNPL. Mm -hmm. So YAP has a strategy. We're not focusing on one product. We're focusing, focusing on really building the whole experience and catering our customer with all it's a one-stop shop, and at the same time being able tomorrow to get loans or BNPL instantly in app, following your transaction and your needs. Okay. Very, very interesting. You mentioned about partnerships, and I know that you've partnered with um, um, uh, RackBank to uh, open bands and iBands uh, and, and provide an experience. <coughs> How did you guys form that partnership, uh, and in terms of how would you suggest or what would you tell to other founders looking to partner with big banks and vice versa where banks are looking to partner with fintechs? Yeah, I was reading <coughs> something yesterday by mistake. They were saying every CEO, uh, fintech CEO dreams to have a banking license and every CEO of a bank dreams to have the tech and user experience of a fintech. So I think that it's a win-win situation. Partner with bank, we're providing their IBANs. We're following all the regulation of central bank and the bank in a way, KYC, monitoring monitor the transaction. But in the same time, we're sharing revenues on many, many products that we use the banking, the, the banking. And this is why we partner bank, it's a win-win situation. Uh, the, all the banks today, they have their own apps, they're catering their own customers. But here in Yap, we will like, we will like a separate independent digital banking app. We're targeting all, all, the, all, all, the, all the customers, all the users practically in a way. If you have a bank account at RackBank or you have a, a FAB or any bank account, you also you're using Yap. So in a way, the partnership is a good win-win partnership between us and banks. And this is why we signed with Bank Jazeera also in, uh, in, K in KSA. Mm -hmm. We're launching now, we're integrating with the bank. It's a very, very good partnership. We are partnering with us locally also. They are investing with us also in the, in the holding. And, uh, and uh, I guess we'll be live in KSA by Q1 2023, and this is a very, very big market. So in UE, we launch, we launch here, we, we start with our MVP product, which is our MVP product were very competitive. That's why we acquired a lot of users. Now we're adding so many products. We stabilized our app. We now know our market. It's very competitive market, UE. And I think it's a platform where in UE, our tech is scalable, where when you launch here, it's, uh, we learned a lot from here. And now going to the big market KSA, where with a full product range and big experience in, in the field that, that we did. So we learned a lot. We launched last year, in October 2021, we launched a new B2C. B2B also part, in a partner, part, part, partnering with the white label app with EDB. And we learned a lot. And now we're adding product, engaging, adding revenues, and moving to other markets in the region because we consolidated, we started to consolidate here. Great, so now you bring two very interesting topics. One is about expansion into other markets. But before I go there, um, you've talked about expanding to other segments in the market. And I know you've partnered with the Emirates Development Bank to look at um, SME banking. And I mean, how would you say or describe this? How would JAP help uh, the upcoming businesses and, and the small and medium enterprises in, in, in the UAE overcome their challenges? So our, uh, our tech, our, our strategy tech was we're building one app for many markets and one app to be able to, to, to provide the B2C and B2B. So we will build the tech very scalable and in a way we can add product. At the end, between consumer and business, you're, you're generating IBAN with our partner bank and same time you have cards, you have all the product. Here is different products in, we, in each, uh, in e, in each uh, 
uh, uh, in each uh, market, practically, is a B2C or B2B. Now, the SME market, the SME market is, uh, is, uh, is a, a huge market in the region because to create a bank account for SMEs here, it's, uh, it takes two months, three months, maybe one year. It's, it's, like, it's like very complicated. We partner with ADB. It's a white label app for ADB. Uh, we are activating the accounts in 48 hours. So this is really very important uh, milestone that we did. So we have full team to activate the account. At the same time now we're adding products. We're adding the lending products for SMEs. The lending is, uh, uh, we're building a platform lending with, with, with our partners in a way you can have instant lending for, for uh, e-commerce, for POS transaction, and many products lending where I always, we always say now this lending where banks, traditional banks are not able to provide to, 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 to the SMEs, which is we stop where banks start, we say, in a way really it's a plan and it's all digital. Great. And are these exclusive partnerships that you have with these banks in this market or are these open to other banks in, in the market as well? Uh, there's no exclusivity. Our platform today, so our platform, we are providing the IMF Red Bank, we are providing the IBAN of EDB here for our customers, mm -hmm. but the platform of YAP is owned by YAP. We're independent. We are uh, getting license from Central Bank as a retail license. We're becoming principal member of MasterCard also in the region. So there's no exclusivity, but it's a win-win partnership where migrating to other bank, red other banks, there's, there's no need for it. I think it's a good, 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 uh, good, to, good to work together. No need to create exclusivity. Great. And, and then, sorry, just coming back to my earlier question around you expanding into the other markets. And I know your propositions around, let's say, <coughs> bank the unbanked. All right, and provide easier access to financial services. What are your plans with some of the markets that are uh, there? Where, where are you already and where are the new markets that you're targeting? Yeah, so from day one, we built our platforms, our tech, our team works in a way to become scalable and to be able to cater many markets. So we started in UE, B2C, B2B, and in the same time, you know, to be able to launch a market, you have to be regulated by central bank. You have to partner with the bank. And we start building now partnership in Pakistan, in KSA, I already said it, in Pakistan, in Ghana, in the, in the region. From day you partner with the bank and day you're regulated, you can launch, it takes sometimes one year and a half, two years. Mm -hmm. And this is where now we're in UE, we start a very, very new, we're really very solid. We're launching KSA next year. In the same time in Pakistan, we got IPA from central bank. And in Ghana, we get central bank approval. So we're going to do a pilot now start a pilot and start scaling the business next year in other region. We have to take it in a proper way, in a way not to grow very fast. So today we need to be sure that our customers are happy and we're really engaging very well with our customers and then scale the business. Great. I mean, and what would you say are some of your typical challenges that you've uh, faced in moving to these markets, including I would say localization requirements and how do you, have you gone about that? So, you know, challenges, we, we face challenges every day. Uh, I'm coming from the, from this industry, so we're all experimenting team in, in YAP. So uh, different uh, experience, like I said, banking experience, user experience, product experience. And we're, we're, we're a team now and we, we learned a lot, like I said, like we learned a lot. So now the regulatory fact, we learned how, what are the needs of central bank, what are the needs also of, of our banking partners. And uh, market by market, different challenges. I think that UAE is the most complicated market. UAE is uh, population 9 million, 10 million today. And KYC, very, very, very complicated KYC to activate customers. In the same time, so many traditional banks, digital banks also, and very, very, very disruptive market. So that's why we, we started here. You know, we started here and our success here is very important and we are succeeding. We are, we are, we are succeeding because we onboarded 150,000 in a very yeah. short time. Our success here means that we, we can really go to other markets because there are different needs in other markets. Other markets, they have a need only for to have a card or a, an app. While here, since there is a lot of competition, you need to really be product oriented. You need to have a really user friendly app and you need really to fulfill the needs of, of, of our customers. Marwan, you talked about uh, creating a unique experience for your clients um, and the app. Um, how would you describe, how have you gone about creating that differentiated experience for Yap uh, for its customers? So Yap, we are trying to serve everyone, everyone. So we build our app in a way to, 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 to become a one-stop shop as a financial need by reducing the pain points 
of, our, of all the population. In a way, we have different needs, and this is why we build our user experience very seamless, very seamless, and at the same time adding so many products in, in app. By adding these products, everyone has a different need, and it is really one-stop shop. And slowly, slowly, we're adding products to serve everybody. So the user experience is very important to reduce the pain point, to make it seamless, to make it easy, easy, easy. And it is, if you, if you download the app now, you can create virtual card instantly. You can really onboard yourself in a very fast way and uh, create a sub account or check where, you where, 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 you, where, where you are, you've been using your, your cards. Uh, we have the logos, loca location, the last months where you spent. So the analytics is very important in, in it. It's very user friendly. And it's very important now in the new world today to have a user-friendly uh, and the user experience in app. This is really important for everyone now. Great. Let's move a little bit towards the YAP as an organization. Uh, obviously, the culture of startups um, uh, is, is a very unique thing, I think. And it's very important for the growth of a startup. How would you describe the culture and YAP and how it's played a role in, in your success today? Yeah, so the teamwork is very important. We are, uh, I think we are an amazing team. So to create a team today, it's uh, for a company, it's really, uh, it's really a job. Huh? It's like we've been creating, building our team for the last three years. Today we have a full team to be able to cater and uh, to be able to, to, to go to other markets and to be able to cater all our customers. So, uh, you know, UAE was very, uh, it's very, in UAE it's much easier than other countries to create what we have, what we create, yeah, because it's a platform. People are happy to work here and we are able to, 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 uh, to offer jobs for people coming from Europe, from everywhere, they're happy to come to Dubai. And at the same time, uh, how is the mindset? <laughs> I think we're all super excited in office, we're all, happy to, 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 to come every day to the office, it's very important, but at the same time, we're focused on the customer. We're focused on the customer, we're focused on the user experience, what the customer needs, on the product, and it's a real teamwork. It's a really, really teamwork at Yap. And, and I mean, so just so coming back to the culture point is, what kind of culture do you promote within, within Yap? So first of all, we're a startup culture. We are like, the, you know, we're very agile. It's very important to be agile. We do mistakes. Everybody does mistakes. Sometimes we do mistakes. When we do mistakes at YAP, we don't go pointing, why did you mistake? Why didn't you do it? It's directly, we're agile. Let's move forward. How can we fix it? What do you learn out of it? So this is the culture, to be agile, to be able to, be, to, 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 to go far, fast. If I was to ask you, what's the plan for YAP? How, where do you see yourself in the next five years? So we, we want to be the leading digital bank of the region, Middle East, Africa and Southern Asia. I think, I think YAP will be in eight countries in the next five years. We'll be serving millions and millions of customers, B2C, B2B, thousands of SMEs. And we'll be very established digital banking app. We'll be the leading digital bank in the region. So, you know, in every region you have, uh, you have uh, fintechs, you have leading, leading fintechs in, in uh, in uh, US, you have Shime now, as there's a lot of other than Shime, but they're the leader, leader there. You have Nubank in Brazil, you have Revolut in Europe. I think that YAP, we want to become the leading digital region in the region, and we're working to reach there. Uh, and I would say, Anas, you're also a uh, kind of member of uh, part of your team, has had experience with uh, other fintechs in the, in, in the past, yeah. where it was, uh, I think, a good very successful acquisition. Do you see YAP going in a similar direction where you would either be in a situation to either exit or allow another organization to acquire YAP? No, now this is a new era. So the other, it was, uh, now we learned a lot. It should be much more successful now. You know, we were very successful in the other venture. We're working together. And now I think with YAP, we really learned a lot, a lot and I think we'll be much more successful. We learned uh, how to build the team, how to build the tech, you know, how to integrate with our partners because building YAP is not uh, only YAP. We have the bank's partner integrate with the bank. Mm -hmm. We have the processor. We have the scheme of payment, MasterCard and Visa. We have the personalization of the card. So it's a whole network and to be regulated by central bank also. So uh, following PSP or EMI. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we learned a lot. I think we, the, our team today uh, is uh, very professional and we keep learning every day. Um, I think we'll be, we're going to be very successful because we're working, we're working in a very proper way. 
And, and it, from a, um, you know, obviously fintech valuations play a big role um, in the marketing strategy and marketing positioning. How much of that is influenced? Uh, how much of that is influenced at Yap itself? So the most important in a company is to cater, I say it caters a lot, is to create value to your customers, to create the value to your investors. So the valuation is a game, valuation can go up, can go down. The most important is really to create value and to keep it growing. Uh, valuation, you see now the valuation, the market are dropping. So you need to be, to be, to be very, very, very careful about, about, about what's happening. So uh, building a company, building a business is like challenges, is like there is a roadmap. We, we keep moving. It's not about only valuation. Valuation comes. Well, the valuation is not, it's a game at the end of valuation. It's most important is to be able to raise money enough to grow and to reach break even and, and start the being profit and the rest will be okay. And in, in terms of, we talked about challenges, I would say at you being an, a pioneer in the industry, if you had to give an advice to other aspiring fintechs on key things to watch out for or, or focus on as a startup, what advice would you provide? So building a fintech, it's, uh, it's very complicated. You need to have the tech team, you need to have your team also as user experience, you need to have a marketing team, you need to uh, be regulated. Uh, so so it's, a whole, it's a whole ecosystem and uh, you, cannot, uh, you cannot miss one part. Otherwise, you, 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 you don't succeed. Mm -hmm. So you really have to be, first of all, you have to be from the payment industry because we're in a payment. We are in financial yeah. sector. Second, you have to, to have a team where uh, they, know, they know where they're going. And same time, you have to, to build the MVP, succeed, and then add on. It doesn't come in one day. So I think that time is very important. Building a roadmap, not like being crazy and I want to build everything in one day, it doesn't work like that. So the most important is to be sure where you're going, where you're building your revenues, when you do the break even, how you create value for your users, product. The product is so important. I always say product because it's all about the product. It's not about acquiring users, what the product, about reducing the pain point of our user, about serving them. We're here for the customer. And when everything, when, when you're serving well your customer, at the end, you're creating value. Oh, well, thank you very much, uh, Marwan. This has been very insightful, and I believe uh, our kind of everyone watching would take some notes from it and find this uh, very useful. Once thank again, you, thank you, Marwan. All the thank best you. to you and thank the you. Thank you.